Tales from the Brownie Show. <laughs> okay, Crypt Keeper. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the Brownie Show, episode 190. I am your host, Circuit Main, and it is a nice, warm, very exhausting July 20th. Of course, that was because me and Blink just came back from Crystal Mountain PonyCon here in Utah, but we'll get to that in a moment here. We do got a few introductions. Um, let's start off on uh, saying hi to our co-host, Blaint. What's up, everybody? How you doing? And we also have joining us, Suki from the Otaku Ascended. Hi, watching Raw, Paul Heyman's talking. See, I'll be back in a moment. Mm. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, we don't know if Slick will be joining us because he looks like, uh, while he's we are... He's probably still in transit. I think he's got, like, another hour or so. Yeah, he, he was at TrackCon over the weekend while we were at Crystal Mountain. So, two different cons, same exact time. Why the hell not, huh? Oh, yeah, shit, this is the Chrissy gloss I got last year. Shit, I forgot about this. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we're hoping that Comet Starshot will be able to join us, but he still might also be prepping to move himself over here to Casa de Brona's show. So we'll get... <laughs> but, yeah, we'll get that all figured out as we go. Anyway, um, uh, hello, everybody. So uh, we do got quite a bit to talk about because, like I said, we are at Crystal Mountain and uh, we had quite a bit of fun there. So why don't we go ahead and get started? And what better way to start off than talking about our daily lives with the uh, What's Up Brony? So what's up, Brony? Job applications. Sorry, I got the cardboard here, so I'm just fucking with it. <laughs> yeah, Blake is still on the uh, job punt over here. As for me, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> As for me, um, other than the Crystal Mountain, there really hasn't been much going on my way. But then again, I was focused on Crystal Mountain. Now, of course, um, you know, a little bit of fun here, playing my cards. Uh, oh, right. I think people. I think I uh, mentioned a little bit here. Uh, I had a date last week. Ah! 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 Ow. What? 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 <laughs> Suki laughed. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah, I had a day. I, I'd say it went pretty awesome, actually. Uh, we so we um, went around. We were at a smoothie place for a little while. We were just talking about this and that. And then we decided to walk around. And we went into uh, FYE, which is uh, basically a big geek store full of music, movies, books, you name it. They have it. Uh, we um, goofed around a little bit in there, and then we had a, a little bit of McDonald's dinner, and um, yeah, that that was it. Uh, fortunately, I had to get ready for Crystal Mountain, but I have heard from her a little bit, so uh, there might be a second date. At least, uh, best case. Uh, wait, four seconds, and then circuit screaming a pain. Can nobody? Uh, did nobody else hear Suki there for a second? Or what? Did anybody hear me? No, they can hear you. I know they can hear I you guys. I, I unmuted Nobody... my mic to laugh at you, and then I went back. Then I went I... back to you. Yeah. They, may not, they may not just heard. They may just not heard Suki was laughing. If you're hearing weird noises, me putting prints to a folder so I can try to straighten them out. Yeah, apparently some people didn't hear Suki. Huh, go figure. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good stuff. Justification. <laughs> Uh, Suki, Suki hasn't talked all that much just yet, so, um... Dr. Bristol, I want you to talk. Shut up. The segment's almost over. I'll be joining you full-time in a moment. There you go. Ha! <laughs> okay, enough hying aside. Where were we? just put Max Payne the other That's good the reason to go, ha! Oh, yeah. The Let's Play, we finally finished Max Payne. That was definitely awesome. I've been eager to jump onto Arkham Knight, despite the, gra the uh, graphical flaws on that. In any case, well, um, else seems to be suffering from. yeah, but in all honesty, um, I'd say the date went pretty well. Uh, she looks like she's eager for another. Of course, I've been having a little bit of trouble reaching her. Not, you know, not for lack, uh, maybe a little lack bit of trying. trying, not for, well, a little bit of lack of trying, actually. You know, I was focused on Crystal Mountain and now that that's over with, see about ranging date number two. But, you know, she invited me, she invited me over for some red box or a couple of other things. So, yeah, there, there's some possibility. There's at least enough there. She reached out first. And that's always, uh, that's a good sign in my book. So, yeah, successful for, successful date after several years. I'll fi go figure, huh? It's got to happen sometime. Oh, yeah. 
I gotta go back and roll this thing. Is that well, maybe it is. Hmm. But anyway, um, uh, of course we got Crystal Mountain PonyCon as um, another thing, but we'll be getting to that a little bit later in the show. So other than that, uh, there hasn't really been much going on. Uh, I'm still working on uh, my new schedule change at work, which will definitely change a few things on the show here. Uh, uh, We've already started to make some arrangements for it, but the pre-show has been handled by Commander Something for the last few weeks, and I, for one, applaud him for it. You know, Commander Something has been doing an incredible job with the pre-show. I've been uh, tuning into it here and there while working on getting things ready for the main show, and, you know, people are really enjoying it. People are loving it, so... You know, I'm you know I'm glad he came up to me. I'm glad he offered, and I'm gl- very glad I accepted. So, That's good things are turning out, right? Yeah. All so, right, you bastards, I'm here. <laughs> okay, so ah, okay. That, that's a little bit of me there. Uh, does anybody else have any other what's up, bronies? I'm like the only one left, aren't I? You're pretty much. Fuck you all. I don't need to tell you about my life. Ah. <laughs> you make me a sad panda. Dude, that makes me a eh, sad uh, pun. Okay, to, okay. To be perfect, to, to be one hundred percent real, uh, honestly, not not that much going on. Work. Life being life. Life is life. Yeah, work work has up work has ups and downs. Take. <laughs> work. Uh, right? work. What? It does the work work. So, work yeah. Work, I mean, like hell, my day today was up and down. Like I had a really really good day until the last hour. Let me guess. Somebody. That's my old job. Somebody finally got stuck in your craw. Uh, basically, I tr- I've s- I sat there for 20 minutes trying to tell a guy, trying to tell a guy, hey, just write down, write down the food that's in your that was in your freezer that stopped working for three out for for three days while your power your power was out. We'll we'll take your word for it. Do, don't call don't cause mold to grow grow in there. It's like no, I want you guys out here to look at everything. Hey, fine. Just to know, just know that if you don't, just know that anything happens to that bruiser, your fault. Guess what? We're not paying for it. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. When your when your insurance company tells you that per your policy you need to do something, do it. Wow. And now the chat room's walking the dinosaur. Go figure. Yep. Walk, walk, walk. Anywho, um, well, so, uh, so Suki's definitely having his fun here, and, uh, well, there's nobody else at the moment to, uh, give a what's up brony to, so why don't we go ahead and start off with, uh, site news, which, uh, there isn't any. Uh, we're about ten episodes away, uh, from, ep- from episode 200 of the Brony Show. What we're gonna do regarding that, I, I'm still trying to figure Smoke that out. weed every day. I don't know. We'll go with that, yeah. Unfortunately, with the yeah, with everything going on, it's kind of hard to decide what we're going to do because I have no idea what's going to be going on in the next two weeks, let alone the next in about two months. So yep. uh, I can assure you guys, though, we do, I do want to do something. I'm, It'll be something. Yeah, we're going to do something. We will do something, and it will be something great. Not we're not going to throw the away two hundred episodes. No, you know that's not something you just sneeze at. Maybe cough at a Cheer. little bit. <laughs> But yeah, so 200 episodes coming up. It's got me excited. Of course, it's you know if it's my brony show. Of course, it's going to get me excited at least. I hope so. Yep. Let me have some All right. Well, um, like I we're like I said, we'll get into Crystal Mountain a little bit later. That's going to be part of our discussion uh, along with our attempts at. Oh yes, I might as well. Uh, accept, we're are going to um, as well as talk about Crystal Mountain Ponycon. We're going to try our attempts at uh, a little bit of whose line is it anyway here on stream. Of course, admittedly, uh, this is going to be a pure random trial. See if this is even possible. Do or die. If we fail, we laugh. If we succeed, you know, maybe we'll have something else that we could do here and there on the show. We're not expecting miracles, but we are going to give it our best shot. Along with it, if it, we are going to ask for chat participation on giving us some things that we can improv on. And in some cases, um, if we don't have enough, if our, the other people that we're hoping for don't show up on the call here, uh, we may have a random spot that people can jump in and out of to, ba- you know, if they have an idea for a uh, quick improv, they can jump in, give it, and jump out. Of course, um, you know, we'll, we'll get that all figured out right when it's actually time to do it. Because who cares about pre-planning? Yeah. We're kind of in the now kind of guys. 
I just, I don't know. You know, there was a slight issue. Actually, there was a small one. So there was a slight issue that popped up that I came across yesterday. But now that I'm seeing it's actually getting enough press. I actually don't think I need to say much about it. But all I know, all I'm going to say is, God damn, the fucking law is trying to fuck with everybody again. Anyways. Uh, copyright's a pill, more or less. Yeah, literally, it's it's the government trying to pass a law that makes our current copyright go down the trash can and make it where, you know, we can be legally stolen from. Anyways, I'll drop a link on that later. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get started. And uh, what better way to start off than uh, what's been going on in the lives of bronies everywhere. And the merchandise is the first way to start off because every week there's always something new. And I think we finally hit the bar on what can be ponified. I am not kidding. But we'll get to that in a moment. First off, who wants to put ponies as their luggage tag? Yes, you see, it's currently flawed as shit, but this is going to make it worse. But yes, apparently uh, luggage tags, uh, which were found in Singapore. Hmm. So if you want to have a generic, uh, well, one of the generic pony figures as a luggage tag, now you have that option. If you want to get it ordered from Singapore. So take that. You, th you think that was, think that was an hour-long video us? following this? I don't think this is just blind shit. Hour-long video? I don't know. Yeah, there's actually an hour-long video accompanying this shit. Well, there's a lot. Uh, well, you know, uh, regarding the copyright law and things like that, unfortunately... It's already mm, successful. This is just going to make it worse if it's not done properly. It's something for concern, but we... Yeah, it's, a, it's honestly a both sides of the story... And I couldn't find any of the other sides. I could barely find anything at all, so I don't know if... Yeah, it... no, that's the weirder part. You can't find shit about it, except for that it exists. But, of course, I was working off of very little sleep and just getting back from a con. It did not make for a good mix for me. No, it didn't. Anyway, anyway back on track here. Um, Wait, what, like what's going being on now? Sorry, I, I, actually, I actually forgot to pay attention there. Uh... Uh, I guess uh, I guess we get there's no avoiding this for a little while at least now. Uh, apparently there's some um, some talk about a, a new amend a new change to copyright law going on right now that in a few days is going to be voted on and it has a few uh, several artists um, quite concerned that it's actually going to affect copyright law in a very bad way. Hmm. It, making it so if you don't immediately mark something as copyrighted, it, instead of implying copyright protection, it basically leaves it free for anybody to steal and use. That's so basically, uh, at saying, least basically that, that's, saying, that's so what the general basically idea. saying is copyright law is going to come down to you, copyright your shit. Copyright or else. Um, essentially, yeah, but that, like, supposedly there's a whole fucking hoops you gotta jump through, supposedly. But, I haven't gotten the full story myself. That is, like, slightly half the problem. There's not a full fucking story. Yeah. Um, and in all honesty, there's not a full, there's no full story, and I admit that was an incredibly bare-bones uh, version of it. Not even close to accurately describing what what is they're actually shooting for. Because I honestly don't know it's what they're shooting for. It's annoying to me for. that this is actually a thing. It, it annoys me because this is actually a thing that's going along, and I don't know what the fuck's going on. Admittedly, fact, I don't know what the hell's going on. That's what pisses me the most off about it. Hmm. There is so much gray area that we can't fucking see. Thank you, government. Thank you for the fuck brought this to our attention. Why don't you do it three weeks ago when we have time to fucking do research? Thank you. Good night. Yeah, admittedly, the timing of this is a little annoying. At the same time, though, this is the same time, uh, what little thought I could find, this is uh, apparently the fourth or fifth attempt that this has been attempted to pass and has failed royally. I honestly don't know, you know, if it's something that needs to be concerned about or amazed that they keep trying. It's just, it's, it's like the stupid copyright draws for the fucking internet. They're going to just keep on trying and rewording it until <laughs> somehow it slips under people's noses or some shit. I don't even know what the fuck they're trying to do. I don't know. Anyway, uh, well, getting to what we can do for the moment, um, the link has been posted in chat for you guys who want to examine a little bit more and see if you can find any further information. Please do, because I'd like to fucking know. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let's get... You know, I, I don't want to make something fun and then get stolen by some asshole. Yada, 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 let's go on. Right. 
moving right along. Well, now, uh, going uh, to merchandise news again. It looks like um, there's been uh, quite a few different um, toy sightings uh, showing up. First off, it looks like Power Ponies have also made another appearance instead of having to pick out the full six um, brigade over at Target. They're doing a few at a time. You can see you got Humdrum uh, and Flutter. Humdrum, Flutter Rage, Humdrum, Flutter Rage and um, the Mass. Mass Matterhorn. Uh, great, I was about to say Mass like Murderhorn. Uh, wait, let's see. Flutter Rage was. Oh, Saddle wow, Ranger, I'm... yeah. Saddle Rage, yeah. Oh, oh, actually, here's hilarious. Um, that's the only one they got right. They got um, Saddle Ranger Fluttershy, Masked Princess Twilight Sparkle, and Spike the Dragon. Uh. Wow, <laughs> talk about getting it wrong. Uh, that's terrible. But yeah, apparently they have them in singles, groups, and also the six-pack and all that fun stuff. So, there's that, there's that fun stuff for you. Uh, apparently, uh, these, though, are in London. So, I think that this is just their way of getting it over to places that don't have Target. Those of you though that have Coles, you can get um, two of the two of the three CMCs and Pinkie Pie, and it looks like a uh, either the Taffy Maker or something. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, wait, uh... Rolling Sweets cart. So it's a candy cart. <laughs> wait, something's wrong here. You got Pinkie Pie rolling a candy cart with two of the CMC. Anybody else, anybody else thinking the big white van with a guy that has candy for the kids? Hey, kids, you want some candy? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, no. hey, well, that's good. My, my, my mom made way too much. <laughs> was that Whitest Kids You Know? I can't remember who did that. I don't know. I think know. it was Whitest Kids You Know. It's got to be Whitest Kids. It's insane. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, we've also mentioned this before, but now we got a back shot. Pony Mania with uh, Princess Kate, and it's all flowered up, and it looks like we got the others. Uh, apparently, the uh, couple of, it looks like a couple of the ponies, the flower sisters, Lily and Rose Luck, are going to be in it, along with somebody named Helia. You got one of the spa ponies, Lotus Blossom, and Sunshine Petals, because why not? Everybody looks like they got ran, ran to a game that just did nothing but do body art and graffiti. No, so, yeah. do they just went through the wrong neighborhood and got fucking gussed up the hill and back? That paint ain't washing out for three years. What the fuck? They got died. They got died. They didn't die. They got died. <laughs> you could pass me off as fucking new age art. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. In all honesty, though, I it's still kind of hilarious to see it in general. I, I just like the other more gothic look that they gave the other one, especially since Celestia was part of that. Oh, I know! It's the Celestia gang versus uh, Cadence gang. Oh, dear God, shut up. Come on, that's exactly what's going on. Shut up! Oh. Jeez, I finally get a good one right. Okay, finally, in the Netherlands... I don't think about it! In the Netherlands, you, we have um, Carousel Boutique. That's it. Fuck you, Dane bastards. You Dane based. Wait. Wait, I'm thinking of the wrong country. My bad. Yep, that's oh, it. Yes. That, there's yes. no overly flowers. There's no hyper lights. There's no voicing. It's just rarity in the Carousel Boutique. Oh. Yeah. Rather subdued, don't you think? Yeah, the only other thing is that ha rarity has one of those scanners for the uh, little, for the game that they have for Android and iPhone. Not the uh, not the game loft one, but that other one. You know the other one we don't talk about. Anyway, there's that. Now moving right along here, we got a now here's the um, another interesting piece of merchandise that showed up in Target. Now who's always wanted a uh, My Little Pony battery booster? Oh, that thing. Yeah. Uh. Put that thing back where it came from. Also oh, help me. Okay. Yeah, my phone lasts longer. Yes, you can have Pinkie Pie, Twilight Sparkle, Fluttershine, Rainbow Dash looking a little bit off-putting because it looks like they got grafted on there instead of painted. 
Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. This thing. Wait. I just realized this thing. This thing's a piece of shit, and it lies. Yes, it is. No, because think about it. If you're if we're supposed to be harnessing the power of Pinkie Pie here, you should never run out of power. <laughs> hmm. ah. Oh, uh, he's got me there. Anyways, well, sorry. Does it work for Android silent? I think the words for all mobile devices there at the bottom might be might be a hint. Uh, hold on. Yeah, it, it does say all mobile right, devices. If you're trying to be sarcastic and say robots, then you probably should have worded it better. <laughs> you know what? No, it does not work for Android. All mobile devices do not include Android. Damn. Android is not a mobile device. It is an Android. Hence the name Android. It also doesn't work on manimals, and it doesn't work on Kit. Or the six million dollar man. Okay, that's enough for that. But yeah, that's a target for 15 bucks. Weird. That's probably the weirdest thing I've seen today in regards to pony something, but hey. Well, considering all the merch all the uh, mobile stuff that everybody uses nowadays, maybe not so much. Now, who wants the uh, Lego? Who who wants the pony equivalent of a giant Lego castle? Okay. Well, it looks like um, the real Princess uh, Celestia's castle is starting to show up in Amazon. And this sucker is huge. Huh. Yeah, if we're supposed to go by that little girl as size wise, yeah. Dear fucking god, if yeah, if we, you know the age of that kid, it's about as big as a fucking Metroplex toy. We, I'm not ah. kidding. Here's another image of it. This thing is huge, in regards to toys, of course. Yeah, but by the way, I I just I just realized a sad a sad sight in the chat. So, Sam didn't know what you were talking about the six million dollar man. What? It's a really old show, though. Yeah, Fair it is. Enough. It is. It's like really fucking old. I know, but now I feel ancient now. I know that show. I know. I'm five years younger than you. Oh. <laughs> Dude, don't worry. We could build. Don't worry. We could build our pride back better, better than it ever, better than it ever was. We have the technology. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now that that's out of the way. <laughs> but yes, giant castle. Go figure, huh? No, 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 no. So yeah, for all of your hard to earn money, you can get a giant, a giant castle. Actually, um, let me in see. the sky. But yeah, this is purely on Amazon, so you're gonna have to buy it from there. And I'm trying really, really, really hard to find the link to this because there's gotta be. Here we are. But yeah, oh, here oh. it is. It's really and delicious. it is currently unavailable. Of course, they're not gonna. Yeah. By the way, so <laughs> you're gonna... You're gonna... Yeah. yeah, yeah, that picture, that uh, the the one where the kid's actually holding the uh, Celestia toy, it looks like she's holding it ransom. It's like, this is mine. No, it's like, it's not holding it at ransom. She's basically the stereotypical villain. She, she's holding, she has a crown on. Now that I've got the princess out, I can draw the land of Equestria. Yes, and I'll talk like this because I can. Where's Starfield's me money? Snively, we have taken over Equestria. Okay, My, okay, 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 okay. Oh, come on. This is the best voice I've done in days. So it's... Matic. Yeah, it's not wrong is the problem. <laughs> so like the monarch. I am the monarch. Or... Now you lost it because now you had to say it. You have you have forsaken me for the last time, blank. Oh, dude, you gotta click. Calm down, man. Ah, snidely. Remember, remember, your doctor told you your blood pressure was going through the roof now. Ah, I, doctor... can't, I can't do the. I can't do the other fucking minion. I can't do his voice. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, God. I tried that one. Um, okay, yeah, all right. I guess that's enough of that sanity. Mm. All right. So, no, um, no, we're only three people here on the show and nobody else to talk. Of course we're no, going to stay. See, Wait, we're no. already there. Fuck you, get out. Let's see. Uh, Warning, see, see, choking see, hazard, you, know, you think? See, see, you don't seem to understand. We're never okay. You think we're ever okay? Uh, the only problem with this castle is I have no clue how much it is. That's... Basically, that's the one thing I, I was trying to find out. Print of anywhere between thirty to fifty bucks, maybe sixty, depending on where you're getting it from. I don't yeah. see it. it doesn't have too many insane features, so I doubt it's too expensive. 
Oh, great. Now I'm getting Skeletor. I'll get you, He-Man. Oh, whatever. He lost yeah. it. Yeah, All, right. Yeah. Anyway, All right, now to move on, on here. What that one was. Now for the Chinese knockoffs. How many of these are there? Two of this time. Chinese hey. Night Glider and man. Sugar Bell. Man, they're man, they're slacking this week. Well, slacking or I don't know, maybe they're fine. Too bad. They're probably feeling the horrible crunch of the hiatus to come. Now we wait again. Oh, so okay, so we got a. Uh, oh fuck! I actually forgot their names. Yeah, they are um, Night Glider and Sugar Bell. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. I, I was just sitting there and was like, oh, I was about to say party favor. I was like, wait a minute, that's the guy. Hmm. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm uh, doing a little bit of back and forth here with some general planning on the site. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. if you don't recall these two, um, watch the first episode for of season five in Our Town and... Yeah, yeah. It's like these two of those guys. Yeah, I just yeah, just for some reason I looked at him. I went, "Hey, I recognize them. Fuck, what's their name?" It's like when you see that guy you haven't seen since high school, and you're like, "Hey, hey, you it's you. you! How are you doing, huh?" Actually, I had the it's been weirdest a long time since we did that place and that thing. Actually, I had something like that happen. I was at a Walmart and I was just grabbing a couple of drinks and stuff. I was, hey, I was heading through a bakery and and some guy um just like um goes hey and he, you know, gives me like a, a the double finger point and thumbs up. I'm just looking at him like yeah, who the hell are you? Hell are you? I, I think it might have actually been uh, in that gal in the gala I went to a couple of days prior for Crystal Mountain, but yeah, it just threw me way off. It's like. Who is this guy? Yeah, yeah, just don't kill me. <laughs> you look huge, man. I think he could kill me. And that's coming from me. On a side note, the toy I was talking about for Metroplex is about $300 plus. Dollars. So, yeah, no, they know, ain't no way that thing's going to be more than $60 or $50. Dollars. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that bad. But finally. Transformer toy. And uh, My Little Pony Equestrian Girls Friendship Games has uh, been officially released for pre-sale over at Amazon. Which um, will go for a DVD at about fifteen twenty-seven, or Blu-ray at twenty-two forty-seven. Of course, with that sweet 10% discount Amazon puts on almost everything. Literally everything. But yeah, as I mentioned before, we do have plans on uh, reviewing this, playing it in full on stream, and... Critiquing it as we go, of course. We're all going to die. Wait, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. When's, when's the... Okay, 13th. Okay, I see it now. Yep, October 13th, if you haven't been paying attention in the last few weeks. So, oh, so it's reasonable to assume this is why we have our little hiatus. Let's hope it's worth it. Let's hope. The last well, two movies haven't been bad. That, the second one's definitely better than the first. That mm -hmm. another thing I heard was that we we're getting another heartwarming episode. So they wanted it to cut. They wanted it to come out more around Christmas. Ooh, I could go with that. That I can go with. All right, now let's move off of merchandise and move on to other merchandise. Now, for those of you who uh, enjoy Wheel of Finds figures, it looks like Flutterbat has finally started to ship out and about. Well, how did he know this? Because he has his. <laughs> yes, actually, I got my Flutterbat in the mail. Actually, it was already in our doorstep, well, not our doorstep, but it was in our little mail area right when we got home from Crystal Mountain, just sitting there in a nice, sweet box. Uh, let me see here real fast. Um, in fact, I was prepared for this. Quickly adding webcam. Webcam. Okay. And, yes, here is the Flutterbat figure. Pretty awesome looking figure, actually. You should, the box art was also really awesome, too. I think I can box get it. The box art was actually really good. Yeah, the box art, the figure, everything looks really good on it. The figure Point itself... Tip. Yeah, the figure itself is, um, is well, obviously it's PVC, but it's very, very strong, very durable PVC. The wings are a little loose, but, you know, they're light wings. What do you want? They still hold on there, so that's good stuff. Yeah, but, you don't want them barely hanging on. Yeah, you don't want them barely hanging on, but you, I don't mind if they're a little flappy because they're freaking wings, you know. Swear to God, if you start saying flappy bat, I was going to come upstairs and dock you. Flappy bat? What? Let's not go there. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even know. It just came to mind. Let's not go there. Right, yes. Someone's going to take that idea, turn to an app, and make like 50 bucks. 
Flappy butt. Okay, never mind. See, that's why I told you to stop. Because you're just mm -hmm. going to hurt yourself. No, 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 no. Bat, flutter. I guess. Flutter bat. All right. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Okay, camera off. But yeah, that's the flutter bat. Pretty awesome little figure there. The coin, I also have that too. I just, I think I put it on my, my uh, massive bookshelf of death somewhere. So it's going to take me a little while to find that. Uh -huh. Anyway, let's see here. Um, da, 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 just, okay. And here's a side image of the box. Get a, so people can get a good look at that as well. Yeah, I, I get, I'll give it to Wheel of Fire. They are definitely really, really good on this stuff. When they want to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, the box is pretty awesome. The coin is pretty cool. The figure is great, which obviously is the main part. If, if the box and coin were great, but the figure was terrible, you know, what's the point? So, yeah. Nothing that, went wrong here. I wonder what. So, yeah, that is out and about now. I don't know... You know, I, I don't know if they're going to be selling more of those other than the ones they pre-ordered. So if they do, and you like Flutterbat or you like just like collecting figures, I would recommend picking it up. It's an awesome figure. <laughs> Along with that, speaking of other figures, here's a teaser for Wheel of Fine's other chibi figure that was voted on. And, of course, I'm pretty sure our uh, resident Applejack fan is eager for this. Which one, me or him? <laughs> You're both Applejack fans? Yeah. Okay, You're both are idiot! Both our Applejack fans are gonna be eager for this. Oh my god. Okay, just look it at Applejack. Or should I? Look at Applejack. Look at her wonderful green eyes and her Stetson hat that is only on a portion of her figures. I'm going to slap you. What you know it is, that's true. I know that's true. I'm still gonna slap you for not noticing he was a fucking AJ fan, you fucking idiot. Oh my god. No respect at all, I tell you. Yes. No respect. Fine, I'll make it. Fine, I'll make it more obvious. Black guy will fight you. Yeah, yeah literally, literally, like no, he, he would have should have picked it up like months ago. Cause me and Haru had a joke going on between us. Like, I will fight you for the fan maiden. And this was Dark Souls base, so don't worry about it, people. <laughs> Jeez, you get it wrong once. We got a grease of that loves rarity. So sue me for not assuming anything. And, and, and I'm I the think we've said this out open a couple of times. That's why you're getting such flack for it now. No respect at all, I tell you. I okay, Dangerfield, get uh, the fuck out. I go to a show. Everybody laughs and points. Anyway. So, now moving on to the comic side of things. There's quite a bit of news in comics. Of course, we see Flutterbat once again, but this has nothing to do with Flutterbat, I think. But about the Night of the Living Apples. So yes, evil apples taking over Ponyville. God dang it. Attack of the killer tomatoes. I know, I know. That's what everyone yeah. is thinking. Yep. So the the comic should be coming out later this week if it hasn't. I don't think it has yet. You can see a little preview of it in the link in the show notes. Other than that, um, it does look like a fun little comic. And it, it does have a little bit hearkening to uh, Nightmare Moon as well as a few other things. Plus, you actually get you get to see Applejack being attacked by your native element. How in the hell could you go wrong? Someday right here. <laughs> yep. So, um, there's that. So, be sure to check that out that comic along with. There is, we got a preview of uh, Friends Forever 19, which is obviously the side comic. Rarity meets the cakes. Like the first time she's ever met them, or what? And well, it's basically, it's a circuit. pair up. Circuit, you gotta recognize when when obvious jokes are just there for the picking. What do you think this? What do you think this issue is actually supposed to be called? Rarity takes the cakes. Thank you. All right then. Da, 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 da. Ah, nah. Yeah. I was about to say, have respect for your obvious puns. All right. Well, in this case, uh, Rarity is taking the cakes for quite a ride. Apparently, if I'm reading this right, it looks like a. Uh, Rarity is tries to team Bailey, up with. Why are you hissing? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Just seeing nothing but a bunch of hisses from Bailey <laughs> and Ball. <laughs> mm. But in any case, um, just a quick heads up for those of you who are curious about this. Rarity teams up with the Cakes to try to come up with a one-stop shop for all wedding needs. Ah, I think we talked about this slightly. 
Well, just a little bit, but that's the basic synopsis. What will happen? What hilarity will ensue? Obviously, this is not going to work out the way they planned because if it worked out peachy, it wouldn't be a comic, would it? Or has anybody ever actually seen a comic where somebody comes out with a hairbrain plan and it actually worked perfectly? Actually, that would be a great comic idea. Everybody would expect something to go wrong and nothing does. Huh. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, nothing. Earth. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, goodbye, Earth. <laughs> All right. In any case, for those of you who have um, iDevices and like the comics, looks like IDW Publishing has finally made it the comics available to you with their own little app. Of course. Yep. So it looks like you can go into IDW, you can buy any of the comics that they have released and read it on your iDevices. There is nothing in the wings for Android devices yet, so if you have Androids, uh, consider yourself superior and unfortunately having to wait a little bit longer. But I'm pretty sure that this will probably be happening as well at some point. Mm -hmm. But still, a pretty awesome thing to see, especially since the app is free, but the books are not. Uh, let's see. You s wait, it's a... Uh... Is it just straight up IDW? Yeah, pretty much. I, I think it's just like IDW or IDW Comics. Uh, let me see. My uh, Little Pony Comics by IDW Publishing. So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. My Little Pony Comics. Okay, okay. Simpler than that. And along with that, you can also get the two pregnant Twilight games, the Apple Jackets. Ah! And, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The horrors we have seen! There are horrors beyond. Uh, oh, that's Kate. Oh, Katie Cook comics. Uh, these are books. Let's see. Let me let's see here. TV episodes. <laughs> TV episodes. Power ponies. Get the power ponies. Yeah, right, let's see. Everything in books. Uh, well, there's three that are pony in books right now. Uh, two of them from Katie Cook comics and one from Magnolia Bell. Uh, uh it, it might. It's like, a. I think it's actually like an app, like a gaming app. Yeah, I think, yeah, it looks like a... Theory. Okay, hang on, back, good, go back, thank you. Uh, yeah, I might as well have to search for IDW. Alright, and along with the, um, Attack of the Killer Apples, uh, comic, it looks like the variants, uh, covers have come out, including Hot Topic, which has, um, this, uh, you, you can't see it too well, unfortunately, it's pretty blurred. Hey, Randy, how you doing? And That's along with mind. that, we also have another exclusive cover, the BronyCon exclusive cover. So behold, the comic cover that will be at BronyCon. Behold its blurriness. Can't see shit. Yeah, pretty much. Well, let's see what, what information I can give regarding it. Looks like this will be uh, an exclusive cover for issue 31... Well, uh, 32, which is, uh, I believe, the Attack of the Killer Apple comic. So, yeah, you can either get the Hot Topic cover there or wait till BronyCon and pick up the exclusive cover. Yay. Ow, my ear. Anyways. Yeah. But uh, it, it looks like there should be a little more to it. I don't know. But, yeah, the image, unfortunately, is pretty blurry. So, uh, I couldn't get it much better. I honestly could not. However, something silly here. Here's just an here's just this imagery of silly set receptors. While I get the next little uh, bit of news up. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my God, it's too loud. Okay, I'm a P comic topic bearing. Ah, here we go. The fuck? Why is Pinky an apple? I don't know. I really don't know. Why isn't she an apple? Da 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 Okay. I, I really think that's the answer to everything that involves Pinkie Pie. Why is she that? Why isn't she that? Why not? All right. And along with that, it looks like Hot Topic has a couple of variants for issue 30 and 31. We've also talked about these variants a little bit, but um, they still warrant a heads up because they uh, still look pretty awesome. And they go together so well. 
Personally, I think I'll get these issues from Hot Topic just because those two dual covers right there look freaking awesome. Yeah, I like how the pictures can't match up. Who <laughs> however these were scanned. Yeah, it's a pain. Yeah, I think in no uh, the yeah I don't know if it was just because of how they're scanned or if um, we just discovered something unfortunate about the two covers. But uh, it still looks pretty awesome either way. But yeah, there go. It looks like people are about to kick each other's arse. And moving along, are but you uh, arse? yeah, but those are at Hot Topic as well. Now, moving on to hopefully something else that isn't Hot Topic. Yes, it isn't. Hooray. The next um, issue of Friends Forever, number 21, has one of the covers revealed. And, uh, wow, that it actually kind of looks a little depressing. Day zero, before the zombie virus spreads. Everybody's got some hell of a case of chicken box. Yeah. Let's see, I think that actually is the case. Um... Well, they say chi it says chicken pox, but I think that's just for the joke. I don't know what they have. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess it literally only affects ponies. Like, if you're any other equine, I guess that's why Zakora is not affected. So, it's just it's like no other equine race. Either that or Zakora has an immune system built like an ox. Hawk, hawk. But along with this uh, alternate cover, there's also this cover, which um, shows you absolutely nothing. Give me a second here. Zoom it in, zoom it out. There we go. I also got this one. So um, I think it's a bit of uh, pick your poison. I kind of like the second one just because just because you have everybody draping out of buildings and lo basically looking like horror death. Erg, erg. <laughs> and you got you got snails going. Rrr! Well, snails Rrr! always goes like that. Oh, is that? Oh, that's vinyl wave in the background too. There, isn't it? Yep. But yeah, apparently the synopsis for this, uh, and this is, oh, it should be shipping out in October. A strange flu has descended over Ponyville, where only two friends find themselves immune. Spike and Sakura? My god! Will the unusual pair be able to find the cure? So, yeah, everybody's dying. Except Spike and Sakura. Let's be afraid. Especially since if they're the only ones that survive, it means that all we got are Spike and Zakora episodes from now on. So you're telling me half the you tell me half the time we're gonna be entertained. Yeah, pretty much. Instead of not instead of eighty percent of the time. Sorry, Spike, you really do kind of have some of the worst episodes. Oh, uh, he's annoying as fuck, well, that's why. Yeah. Except for the pet episode. That one was one of his better ones. It's cause he got his ass kicked the entire time. Well, he got his ass kicked and just that freaking dog under the blow dryer is was No one will be as happy as that dog. <laughs> no one in the world, but I no don't one know will how. be as happy as that dog. <laughs> Never. 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 <laughs> All right. That is um, the epitome of man, I am so high right now. Now, speaking of people that love comic covers but didn't want to buy all the comics, looks like art gallery book number two is going to be coming out. With uh, basically it show, let's see, uh, da, 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 da. brand new art gallery featuring, um, actually this, it shows some um, art of several different uh, pony covers as well as never before seen art from the art from the uh, comic cup artists. So uh, a little bit of an interesting fun st times there. Okay. Yeah, so if you really do enjoy the art, that is going to be coming out. So essentially, yeah, more covers, but you get it all in one. So I'd say it's an even trade-off there. And finally, yeah, I'm I'm not kidding. There was a lot of there's a lot of uh, news in just like four or five specific areas. It's really weird. But yeah, finally, the issue the uh, issue 35 has been uh, announced, um, which is part two of Siege of the Crystal Empire. Along with this pretty awesome cover here. Of course, the synopsis is uh, Crystal Empire is being attacked and Sombra is involved. However, he is not the reason. So, what does that mean? I guess we'll find out. 
Uh, actually, yeah, those could be changelings. I wasn't sure what to make of them because they didn't look quite right. Yeah, but I mean, it could be changes because, and it just be styled. Yeah, very good styled. But yeah, this is um, an issue coming up in the next few months, which uh, it looks good. It, it looks like it's going to be a heck of a story arc. Getting a little bit back to the crazy drama. Now, who likes Funko figures? They're they're nice. Hmm. Well, it looks like Funko has started to un to unveil the veil. Um, unveil the veil. What the hell? It, they started to show off a lot more figures now. Starting off with Apple Bloom. So Apple Bloom has uh, began to pop up over at Hot Topics. Along with Apple Bloom, it do looks like Scootaloo, our favorite um, born again chicken. Has also popped up. And even Sweetie Belle has popped up. Of course, the fun thing is, we I saw all three of them over at a Crystal Mountain Pony Con. What I didn't see was apparently they also have variants. As Funko is wont to do lately with all their figures. So that means we get sweep we get sweepy Belle. Yep. A Apple Blue. Scooter. Scooter Lou. But yes, you can also get him in a... Actually, Sweetie Belle just looks um, pearly. Not exactly clear, does she? Yeah. She looks like a light bulb. <laughs> actually, light bulb, light bulb, go, I'll go with so light bulb. Sweetie bulb? Sweetie bulb. Okay, everybody, Sweetie Bulb. That is the new meme. Get out there. Twitter. Art. We need Sweetie Bulb. I demand to be on everybody's lip by the end of the day. That sounds really weird. No, Sweetie Bulb, not Bolted. Bolted? Sweetie Bulb, that is not right. But sweetie so Bulb. Like this. <laughs> yes, let's do fans. Sweetie Bulb, like a light bulb. Yes. Look at her. She looks like a she goddamn light bulb. <laughs> the color of an iridescent light bulb. Incandescent. Is it incandescent? I thought it was incandescent. I think both can be, you know? Fucking iridescent, we, don't, we don't get paid for this shit. We don't get paid for proper language. Yeah, we're... It, come on, we're, we're podcast hosts, not electricians. Okay, <laughs> they're talking about jamming Sweetie Bell in the socket. I think we're done here. He said it, not me. <laughs> well, they said Chatroom it, said him. it. Well, they said it, not him. All right. Anyway, and also so Sweetie... Who, we got Sweetie Bloomaloo. We got Sweetie Bloomaloo in the chat now, too. But along with the uh, Kitty Mark Crusaders, there have been some hints at some of the other Funko figures that are due to come out. Cheese Sandwich apparently is going to be one of them. Huh. At least if this prototype image is any indication. Again, this is, a lot of this is speculation. We're Help not me, I have them. no eyes, and I cannot see. Fucking prototypes are always scary. The prototypes are freaked out, but here is another fun prototype. Now, here's one I'm sure people are going to be jumping on. Huh. What's it? I guess uh, I guess they're leaving enough space for you to see one eye there. Uh, I guess so. Pretty neat there's going to be a crystal, though. Yep, there is going to be... Who's that Pokemon? Da -da -da. Okay. That's yep. Now, they are, there's also an image of a couple of prototypes of ponies we've already seen, or I thought. But I don't know if it's glare or if I'm just um, hoping of beyond hope. But you see the big Macintosh right there, right? Mm. Yeah, Is he's that, getting pretty close to Luna there. Yeah, not well, not that, obviously. There's no wings on there, boss. I know what you're trying to insinuate. No, there isn't. There isn't any wings, but doesn't that look like a horn on his head? Yes, yeah, it is a is. horn on his head, though. Oh, dear. Really? Uh, I'm not that losing. is actually a horn on his head. Oh, wow. But so yeah, these... might, they might be, but there's definitely no wings. But there's definitely a horn. But yes, um, just to answer a person in chat, this these are prototypes. These are evidence of possible new Funko figures coming out. Generally, this is what you generally oh, see. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Somebody somebody might have just uh, answered it to me. It could be Shining Armor. It could be Shining Armor. Yeah, this guy's going to say that next. It also could uh, be Shining Armor. I don't armor. know. There's, look, I, look at the little bit of detail right around his chest or right around the 
his chest. Yeah, no, it looks like a place you can slot in his uh, fucking uh, harness. Well, it kind of it looks like the harness, but at the same time, you kind of get the detail in the front of the front leg and the back of the front leg, like it's a little bit like that uh, armor bracer that he usually wears. Ah, it looks more like the cle- the uh, fucking hoof cleft. I don't know the fuzz. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I forget what it's called. Yeah, that one. It, that one we can go either way, but it might just be shining armor. It might actually be the Christie, though. That's definitely one that we can't disagree on. Anyway. No, it's my OC. Sorry. Ed. So yeah, Chrissy, and that's not the only uh, prototype figure that has popped up. Of course, uh, who would have figured? We also got Mod Pie. <laughs> yes, Mod Pie will also be there. There's also going. I'm from- pretty sure she. I don't even know. I can't even, I bet she's excited. <laughs> she's so excited. She's it's scary. definitely ecstatic. Oh yeah, here's the apparently here's an image of nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Nothing. Oh fuck. He has fooled all of you. There's no review today. You wasted all your time. Ha <laughs> ha terrorist win. Alright. Anyway, now that I can do it appropriately this time. <laughs> nothing! You got nothing! Stupid! <laughs> Y'all <laughs> so stupid! <laughs> uh, let's try that link again here. Yeah, there. here's the uh, Shining Armor, the actual Shining Armor figure that I still have yet to get. So, uh, I don't know. I can kind of see, um, yeah. I don't know. I think it, I think it can go either way on that. Uh, pre- especially considering Big Mac Unicorn this quickly. I don't... Funko's fast, but they're not that fast. Yeah. Oh, ah, well. If it comes out, it comes out. Otherwise, uh, we got a few new figures that we could definitely confirm are coming out. And uh, now that we're finally over merchandise news... Wow. Let's... Merchandise. Merchandising. All the merchandising. But we got a few other awesome things here. Friendship Day! July 30th is apparently International Friendship Day. Is it? Uh, yeah, actually it oh, is. Fuck you guys, I'm Wait, out. What, what day of the week is that? Good question. Uh, It's a Thursday. Oh, then fuck that. With my job? Nope, that ain't gonna be Friendship Day. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Oh, they put it on a fucking Saturday or goddamn Friday. That would anyway, be- I, I don't know if it's actually an official day, but apparently... The 30th of uh, July, Hasbro is celebrating International Friendship Day, or uh, just it, Friendship Day, apparently. And I they are, it. and of course, because My Little Pony Friendship is magic, Hasbro's website is going to have different segments for that special day. Environmental improvements for Applejack, health and wellness with Rainbow Dash, homeless and poverty assistance with Rarity, wow. Uh, hunger battling with Pinky, Wow. Jeez, this is it, suddenly serious for a fucking cartoon show. Yeah, it just what got the fuck. It just got hey, serious. I'm Pinkie Pie and uh, hey everybody, I'm Pinkie Pie and people are starving. <laughs> yeah, right. That's basically what it's saying. Is people. I'm almost afraid to keep going on with this list. I, okay. This is getting a little dark. Illiteracy with Twilight. Actually, no. Education with Twilight and animal welfare with Fluttershy. So yeah, it just take it. Oh God. Just, Oh god, Fluttershy, Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> Vaguely got it right. That escalated quickly. <laughs> that escalated really quickly. Um. Okay. Uh, here's the uh, 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 stone line. There's New Mexico. They're already in New Mexico. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Okay. But yeah, there is. Um, there's going to be some uh, activities and ideas to help out in those. With each of those various topics on International Friendship Day. Of course, um, you can go ahead and do your own things for friendship. Me, I'm going to work because I have to. I have to. If I'm lucky, I'll be going to work or I'll be doing an interview work. We'll see what happens. Because well, life likes to sit me in the air. Well, we'll give you a figure out, man. Ah! Mm. Anyway, um, just to uh, iterate for 8th uh, Flame as well as anybody else in chat or people watching the archive. The show is on hiatus. As to when it will end, we do not know. 
We don't have anything specific. The trouble I've seen. The best we can tell you is that the show will continue before the year's end. We do know that there's a possibility of another uh, of, of another Nightmare Night episode, uh, as well shit. as a heart swarming episode. So there's very good possibility they want to hold for a little while. And so, to God, though, there's nothing going on on Halloween. We're just going to be done but fucking spooky, scary skeletons for fucking 24 hours. You don't have to deal with it. I don't give a shit. Oh, wow. I, I feel stupid. How could I have forgotten our, the most awesome of our card people here? Oh, is Deal actually available? Apparently he is, and he wants in. So you bet you could have said something! Well, he didn't, but Tokoi did. Anyway. I, I still, I don't, I don't fucking agree with that. He should be speaking for himself. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe Tokoi heard something else, and uh, Deal will be in in a moment. In any case, uh, we still got a, a few things to talk about, so we'll give uh, uh, Deal a chance to get in here. But yes, uh, International Friendship Day on the 30th. So celebrate with friends, uh, do something meaningful, you know, all that fun stuff. Don't shoot your neighbors. Cause that's well, that. Yeah, that's that's um, akin against International Friendship Day. Now, who wants a $162 DVD? What? Over in the um, great nation of Japan, they okay. are releasing season two of the My Little Pony series Completely dubbed for 20,066 yen or uh, $120. Why? Oh, so it's the entire oh, it's the entire thing. It's the entire season two, yes. Yeah. Oh, th yeah. Then that's why it's that's why it's like over a hundred dollars. Okay. Here's, okay. Quick, quick little lesson about Japanese Japanese DVD releases, uh, children. Go right for it. Okay. Normally, when DVDs and or and or Blu-rays are released for anime series. You want to know how many episodes you get a disc in Japan? Two, three if you're lucky. Three if you're lucky. And guess what? You pay fifty dollars for it. So this is actually quite a discount to them, considering. Yeah. Probably Holy because it, probably because this isn't this isn't a Japanese produced show. Yeah, and in in all honesty, you know, when people complain about the price of anime and stuff here in the U.S. You compare it to where it comes from in the homeland, we're getting off easy. Yeah, no, knowing that in general, holy shit, do we get off easy. No, do not go to the pirate bait. Jeez, oh, that's the reason it's this expensive. Well, actually, it probably doesn't help. Slash your fan, this is why we have problems. Yeah. Believe me, no, na nobody doesn't have their problems, and this is also why a lot of Japanese people usually only have one or two hobbies, because everything over there is more expensive. Really fucking expensive. Yeah. Of course, that's also why... But also, they make a lot of... They technically make a lot of money. Technically. Well, that one's, uh, again, debatable-ish. That's because of the way their economy works. Technically, yeah. it's a lot of money when they're actually spending it. It's not a lot of money at all. So, yeah... So, yeah, the Japanese economy is really weird, and also because of that, you don't really see a lot of Japanese people that have four or five different uh, things, which is always why that, that big ri that rich person has, like, five different hobbies instead of just one. Yeah. And also why... Hey, Jack, I little one about falling downstairs. I love it! I just heard something. That... Okay, da-da-da-da-da. Okay, um, here, here's a little bit of information, actually, about International Friendship Day. Uh, it looks like Tokoi is trying... Again, well, actually, this is from Dr. Bristol from Tokoi. Uh, International Friendship Day is a day of celebrating friendship. Duh. This day has been celebrated in several South American countries for many years, particularly in Paraguay, where the first World Friendship Day was proposed in 1958. Oh. Well. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Why do, Why are our, our chatters so insistent on trying to get people to download things for free? Because they're fucking weird. Fair enough. Okay, and um, moving on to some interesting news. Overmare Studios, who is currently working on a Fallout Equestria mod for Fallout 3, has announced that they are going to be journeying, going to a couple of cons, namely Galacon and BronyCon. And they're obviously going to be... We're not surprised. No, nah, we're not surprised on the cons. Uh, they Apparently what they're going to be doing is they're showing off their mod of Fallout Equestria... And they're actually going to allow okay? people to. Uh, no, I think I hurt something. Are you there. okay? I, I'll That's be fine. Like it hurt. It Do hurt. I need to call a doctor. It hurt a little bit. 
Any case, uh, it looks like they are actually going to be allowing free playable demos of the Fallout Equestria game. Huh, that sounds neat. Yeah, they, uh, they're actually going to be in the vendor hall in a booth. They're not selling the game, obviously, but they're going to be showing off the game in the vendor hall and allowing people to play it. So I'm obviously going to have to get, give this thing a run and uh, see how it goes. If and, you can get a hold of it for, you know, like, you know, a three-hour line. Yeah, hopefully not, too. You know it's what's going to be happening. No, Ellis came. It's not going to crash every half hour. It's going to crash every 45 minutes. I'm pretty sure they're going to tighten the code a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later. Yes. But, yeah, pretty awesome stuff there. It's got me a little excited. Now, for those of you who have Xbox One, Monopoly, and uh, nothing better to do, I guess... Looks like um, a, the My Little Pony variant of the Monopoly game for Xbox One is coming out. I don't know what else to say. Uh, there's no... What the fuck uh, do you play, X? What the fuck do you play Monopoly on the games? What the fuck is wrong with people? Well, actually, in this case, I can... This might not be too bad. If it's all, if, I guess if it's got online, I guess. It's just real, it really sounds really stupid. Well, either, uh, either online or local multiplayer. I hope it has both, really. On, online and local. Just because... You know, man, just be in a game chat with somebody like, oh, you motherfucker. Why is it so expensive? It's just like, first, it's just going to break online. <laughs> well, think of it this way. Have you, have you ever actually set up and played a game of Monopoly with the actual... Oh, yeah, no, it gets bad. It gets bad. I'd rather have it, it in a bad. video game. I'd rather have it I, in a video literally game. literally die. I am a professional Monopoly player of sorts when it comes to my family. I think I've lost, like, twice out of the last... I don't know, you, well, here's the question: Were you the teller or were you a player? Um, about half the time I'm the teller, but I'm the teller you while I play. Bastard. I don't steal. People have <laughs> checked me on it. They check me on it. Like, like it, it used. It funnily, funnily enough, the games aren't anywhere near as close when I'm not the teller. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, no one's gonna play this with me now. I wonder why. Okay. Not that I own an Xbox anyway. Jared does. Yeah. So everybody, welcome Deal Grist, who will apparently be our fourth for who for whose Brony show is it anyway? Uh, about how long do we have until we start that? About probably about thirty minutes. We we still got to talk about Crystal Mountain. Okay, I need to go grab food. So perfect. Yeah, you got plenty of time. Go for it. Okay. I shall return to antagonize the chat. <laughs> what are generally teams to do? Yeah. But yes, um, Monopoly Pony coming out in for the 4th of August, huh? My uh, younger brother's birthday. Go figure. Huh. Which one? The one that ragged you out or the other one? The other one. And we'll just go with that. And finally, um, uh, in the last, least, um, last little bit of news we have here before we get to... Um, Fan Virgo stuff. has a few brothers, yes. Moving on. Moving on, yes. I do have some brothers. No, you will never see them. Anyway, pancake art. What? Making pancakes, making, making pancakes. Making pancakes. In any case, I couldn't help but show this because, in all honesty, this is awesome and it kind of makes me a little hungry. What do you think, Glitch? Cat! Yeah, uh, he's in my lap right now. But yeah, this isn't a long video, it's just three minutes, but it's pure magic. Actually, that, the one thing I've been seeing a lot of these pancake, art, pancake arts lately, how, I, I, I'm surprised that anybody could do this, but how could you do this and then eat the pancake afterwards? I wouldn't want to eat it at all. That's why you make fake pictures and record it. Nah. No, I mean, never. I, I would want to put that in some sort of preservative forever. I wonder if it could last as long as a freaking McDonald's burger. Tch. Take a shit, it comes out still in the wrapper. What? <laughs> mm. 
And Dr. Bristol has officially freaked me out a little bit. I'm gonna see this sec. Sorry. Bristol, shut up. Alright, alright. So, is this all being done on a... On a it's on a, a it, It's on actual griddle. You can actually start oh. seeing where the griddle is starting to oil up a little bit here and there, so he can flip it off a little late. Flip oh, okay. it! Okay, so, okay, so he like turned it, so he, he like turned it on in the middle of this. Dr. Bristol, don't worry about it, I'm just kidding, you're not... At, well, yeah, you're freaking me out, but everybody... Every, a lot of things freak me out, I don't care, ultimately. I freak him out, and he lives with me. Besides, I'm just joking around anyway. Uh, now we get to the oh, final you always, you know, you can always be like, LET ME IN YOU DUNGEON! Yeah, that guy was that. You can do that too, I can throw you in a dungeon forever. Dun 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 dun. And nearing the end of this, of course. Oh lord, though, like, steady hand on this uh, person in particular. Hell, you are arting a pancake. But yeah, I mean, how could you eat something like that, though? Mm. But yeah, the guy does a lot of different arts. I, he just had the Rainbow Dash one, and I couldn't resist showing this off. Yeah. Uh, it's a yeah, and I guess, uh, I guess if we, I guess since that's your last thing, I'll, I'll go ahead and just let everybody know about this. If you care for the, if you care for the mobile game, shoot. Uh, the Discord update came out today. Oh, oh boy. shoot. Um, it did, it, did, it actually, they actually did update a lot of stuff. Uh, first of all, like, the, the Equestria Girls dancing game is now accessible from the maps. Nice. They basically, they, they basically put the portal into, uh, Ponyville and Canterlot, at least. Uh. God, you're all stupid. I love everyone. They've, they've added a thing where there's actually, like, pretty much if you have... Just if you check every day and you and you happen to have a collection of ponies, you can earn another pony as a reward. Huh? Or, nice. or it's actually, oh, it's, well, they call them collections. There's like, oh, uh, there's okay. There's like ponies you can get. There's also just random items and also like I'm look like there's some of them here. Like this one, uh, if I were to get all these guys, I'd get forty gems. Nice. Let's see. All I need is bad seed, and I get twenty gems. Wait a minute, didn't the... I think the Family Game got, Family Guy game did something like this. Hmm. Well, let's see, there's that, and then... Uh, it's weird, because as far as quests go, only one got added. Um, because it was literally, I was just in Ponyville, and it pops up in Discord, it's like, Hey, dude, hey, the Tree of Harmony's sick? Oh my goodness, I did not realize this. Hey, maybe we should go check on it in the Everfree Forest. I'm not, I'm not leading you into a trap. In the slightest. And, yeah, of and course. then you go to the Everfree Forest, and that's literally the objective of the mission is just to go to the Everfree Forest, and nothing happens. Ha! <laughs> something tells me something might be glitched there. Or might, maybe not. You said you're missing some of you, 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 We're missing half the rocket ship. Mm. How are we going to fly with this? <laughs> well, then again, there's, they're also offering a... See, they're also offering a bundle uh, today... As well, it's called the flashiest Discord bundle because you can buy Discord. Oh boy! And let's see, you get that a shop that's automatically got five, or I guess that right is that a shop with five stars or is that something? Oh, you can have five ponies work there. Ooh, wow, that's a hell of a shop. Uh, and then a couple of set pieces. Looks like disc. Oh, looks like a uh, two set, two different of uh, things of Discord thrones. Huh. Ah. What one has one has like the hedge maze. And, oh god! I just realized the other one. The other one's kind of like uh, Discord in Ponyville. There's there's a set of 3D glasses on the ground, and there's a painting of Fluttershy. Huh. Yeah, and I wonder who uh, this right now, 20, is. right now you can basically pay twenty bucks and get all four of those things. Uh, they, they say it's seventy percent off the value. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, hey, what does what does Discord cost normally? Let me look at that. Well, uh, while he's getting that figured out, let's um, go a little bit into fan submissions and suggestions here. First off, there is a, a suggestion from uh, somebody that we saw over at Crystal Mountain, and I want to get it out to you guys because I think it's an awesome little project. Plus, who doesn't want to have socks? Socks. Grab them hot. There is a guy that is currently doing um, pony socks as an Indiegogo campaign. 
Yep. Now, apparently he has uh, tried running this. He also this... did a book, which you bought. He also did a book, which I bought, and I didn't get a picture of that just yet. Now I think about it. Whoop. You dummy. Yeah, I'll uh, have to get a picture of that in a little bit here. But, yeah, uh, he's doing socks, and he also did a book. Um, Where the hell now... is that socky pony person at? They would love this. Or is that a flame in disguise? I <laughs> don't know. Now, in any case, um, now the reason we're bringing it up here is he's he's apparently tried this a couple of times and he could not get all the funds. What he's doing this time is he's going to um, he's doing this one final time, but this time, even if he doesn't get all the funds, he's going to do the socks anyway. So this is a this is pretty much a, you're going to get the socks whether you like it or not. But essentially, you can get one of seven different varieties, and if he can get enough funding, he will also do do a Luna and Celestia sock, which everybody will get. Oh, neat. Got the basic concept right there. Yeah. Oh, by the way, to get Discord, you got to play the Gem Balloon Pop. Of course you do. Oh, I hate the Gem Balloon Pop. Yeah. But yeah, the socks are look like they're pretty <laughs> well made, <laughs> and nice. pony socks are always pretty awesome, especially long, big long socks. The now, um, of course, it is an all it is a pretty much an all in campaign, so you really have nothing to lose other than a few bucks and just some time until he can get it done and there's a couple of weeks so i do encourage the chat room to check it out and also please let other people know if you have any friends that might be interested in socks or you know any um, brony communities or anything at all where there might be some interest feel free to throw it out there let people know about it and don't just assume somebody else is going to let people know because that doesn't always work it's like tf2 if you see something fucking weird going on do something about it Say something. Do something. <laughs> do, do something. Do something. Do something. <laughs> I'm sure. That, I'm sure it's, that will explain what's going on. Fucking it's not critic. It's been. It's Megabait, sir. She's gone from suck to blow. Uh, actually, uh, me, and, me and Blank are talking about something else. Who? Do fuck, something. God, no, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Okay. Okay. Time. okay. <laughs> 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 Fucking Star Wars. <laughs> A uh, blank saw uh, review of the Star Wars Hall. I've been special. watching a fair amount of Nostalgia Critic today. Oh god! I complete. I've corrupted him onto Nostalgia Critic. I'm happy. It's a, it's a good filler for when I'm not actually doing shit. You know, I'm trying to do shit. But hey, sometimes I can't. Don't feel like doing shit. So hey, that's a good way to uh, fucking shit. We all do. Anyway, also on fan submissions and also, suggestions. Shit. Now it's time for the artwork challenge of the week, which is Princess. And of course, Doctor Bristol's ego starts off the Princess Brigade. With Princess Nylon, his uh, princess counterpart. Apparently. Apparently, though, his princess counterpart is missing wings and a horn, so that's interesting. Yeah, it could be like the Arabian horses. I don't fucking know. I mean, well, oh, we'll go with that. I don't yeah. get paid for this shit, goddammit. No, I know. He's one of the he's the uh, first Earth Pony princess, and that's it. Yeah, no, no. no Alicorn princess, just Earth Pony princess. Well, at least he's not a gay ass OC. Or is he? Uh, well, it is an OC. Now, Blanked, you're the subject of Tokoy's uh, latest image. Of course I am. Eventually, eventually my soul will be tainted by this shit. Let's see what this bullshit is. Actually, this is you saying no. Ha! Yes. <laughs> yep. Look this shit, I'm out. Pretty much, you're not having any of it. So, M.A. Larson's Princess Machine supplies. Me and... Yeah, little looked... fucking no. Yeah, no, you are not princessing up, so no princess blanked. If it happens, it'll be of my own fucking volition. There you go. And also, finally, Vaguely Creepy did manage to get one in. Oh, boy. And uh, this one, um, admittedly, Tokoy's and, um, yeah, the other two have are pretty well drawn. Well, Tokoy's is definitely well, uh, pretty well drawn, and the other one, uh, obviously Pony Creator, but still both pretty good. Vaguely Creepy definitely takes a cake with Princess Gummy. If you can get to it. I got to it. Took three years. Ha! He wins! <laughs> Vaguely wins! John wins! Sonic wins! Vaguely wins! <laughs> Still, all of them are winners for actually entering in princesses. Ain't that, ain't that ever the fucking glue thing? Yes. So I'd like to thank all three of you for your awesome entries into this week's challenge. Of course, um, 
you all get a big applaud and apparently a purring glitch next to my microphone. What what the heck are you doing, cat? I don't I don't know what it's doing, and I'm actually paranoid. It's gonna start attacking Flutterbad over here. Oh no, there. It glitch. Goes. Stop being a shithead. Get out of there. <laughs> ah, it's just glitch being glitch. He w being oh. a little shit, which is ironically him being glitch. Yeah, it is. Next week's challenge: dreams. Then we kind of had. Well, no, vaguely did a fucking Christmas story on that kind of shit. Yeah, I did a Christmas story. That about, was way back in the day. Yeah, but we're talking Funny ponies, ponies dreams, dreams. ponies dreaming, dreaming fun things, ponies dreaming weird things. Po Why do I keep saying dreaming? Dreaming. 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 What, the what the fuck is dreaming? Are you trying to say dreaming or dripping? I'm, I'm trying to say dreaming. Dang it. Dreaming. Are you trying to say you're meeping? <laughs> no, I am not meeping. And finally, last little uh, bit of the um, uh, fan submissions and suggestions. Looks like Gmod now has the Inkling 6. Oh, dear what? God. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. They're a thing. Yes, they are now a thing. Fucking Splatoon. <laughs> Actually, I probably should have made this a challenge, but now nah, we'll just keep with the dreaming for now. Oh, well, it's not. Splatoon will go. We'll make Splatoon next week. Oh, God. <laughs>